wanna be a in debt of resort here at the Balsam's Grand Oaks. Hi, my name is Rick McCartan and I'm the new Director of Sales and Revenue Management here at the Balsam's. It started about three weeks ago and it's been really exciting. Um, gotten to know a lot about the Balsam's experience and uh, still learning a lot about the Balsam's experience. But so far, uh, I've learned quite a bit about the past history of the resort and its traditions. When I think of the Balsam's, I actually think what makes it really special to me are two different things. Uh, two words come to mind. Uh, the first one would probably be tradition, and the second one would be loyalty. And I, I think these are two attributes that are seen in both our, our guests and our employees. And one of the things that, the, the, the first thing that I found amazing to me when I started here was when I found out how many years some of these employees have been here. Uh, I think in my third day I had counted about four or five people that had been here for over 40 years. So. That was pretty amazing, and, and that speaks to the loyalty that the staff has to the Balsams. Uh, but then also, I found in talking to many of the guests that have been here, uh, particularly last night at our Monday night cocktail hour, I talked to two families, each of them had been coming here for over 10 years each, and I found that was amazing. And hearing some of the stories, it really spoke to the traditions that families have embraced in coming here. And, uh, you know, one of them, in fact, told me that they have a family picture uh, that's over their fireplace that's right here on this flower garden. So uh, the Balsams is full of rich history. I mean, you can walk through the halls as I did on my first day and you know, look at a lot of the history that's uh, photographed all throughout. Um, but that's just a small component of what the Balsams experience is about. Uh, it didn't take long uh, to learn that about the Balsams. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've vacationed in the state of New Hampshire all my life and people have talked about, talked about the Balsams always talked about the traditions here and one of those big traditions is also the culinary. Um, I had family members like my great-grandmother who used to make it an annual tradition to drive up here about an hour, hour's drive just to have lunch. So the, the culinary experience, uh, the activities that are here, uh, but yeah going back to those uh, two words that just still pop into my mind when I think of what's special here. It is definitely tradition and uh, loyalty. I, I'm just amazed at the the percentage of repeat guests that stay here. Um, you know, I, I, most of my career was with a, a large, you know, leading corporation, has uh, thousands of hotels worldwide, and uh, it's, it's a very uh, different experience coming to a place that, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, just as any historic grand hotel would have, uh, has a, a very rich history. Uh, but what separates the Balsams from some of the other historic properties that I've been associated with uh, as a guest or as an employee is the fact that, uh, again, going back to, to the tradition and loyalty that you feel from uh, a lot of these guests, and again, with such a high percentage of repeat guests, and not just the individual guests, but going back generations throughout their family. Uh, I've just been amazed at, at uh, some of the stories you hear going all the way back to the 50s, and uh, how, and that, another thing that's amazing to me is how, how many employees ha are working here that were introduced first to the Balsams as a guest, that stayed here with their families, and thought, well, you know, one day it might be nice to work here. And sure enough, you've got plenty of those stories to hear. So um, it, it's really a special place.